I'm just going to take a bit of a contact. Hmm. He's got a slinky tail. And I'm going in the direction that his vertebrae comes down. And he, he's going to move. So he's come towards me a little bit. And then they can move away. So he'll probably, there he goes. And and they'll they'll go to walk on. They'll they'll like their intention will be to go forward so they create more of a pull. And I've had like five people on a tail before now. They've needed this pull. Wow. So you just wait until they either come off or you can't hold on anymore. And then I'm gonna really, really, really slowly release. Really slowly come off it. Don't just drop them. And obviously you've got to be safe because you don't want those coming up at you. There, so you see him go forwards then after that. Mm. And then you can just comb it. And you can also, this is a bit bonkers, so if you take one piece of hair between your fingers and hold it at the root and gently bring your finger out, try it. Take one piece of your hair, just one or two little pieces, and as you slowly bring it out, you'll feel your scalp tingling and really mm. alive and like, whoosh, if you take a whole chunk of hair and do it, nothing happens, you'll get the same sensation. So you can do that, it's called um, just a little hair, hair pull. And you can do this on their forelocks and it really livens up their kind of... Okay? And then you can slowly do it. It's very good. 